am so happy. Look who's back. I'm picking up Michael in Paris and we're heading to La Lande together. Though his sinister gloves are worrying me a bit. So what are we going to do now? Can you go to Let's do it. Oh, now I know. I'm truly home. <laughs> what a sight. <laughs> Christmas apron. <laughs> Blue bags, we don't need that. Hello! <laughs> Hi! That's a magnificent apron, David! <laughs> well, hello. hello! Oh my god, it's so good to see you! Hello! Hi! <laughs> and hello, bonsoir! Oh, it's so good to see everyone! But I'm very excited to see the glasses that are ready! <laughs> What is this? Okay. This is Japanese gin. Yeah. Japanese gin? I've You're never right. tried Japanese <laughs> gin. Michael, nice to meet you. Thank you. My name is Udon. Oh, nice to meet you. Udon. Udon. Yes. Yeah, I got yes. it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am excited. What is this? Do you know I love being home? <laughs> How's it been? Yes. It's been okay? Yes. Yes? yes. <laughs> Not too cold? No. <laughs> very quiet. Very quiet. Yeah, it gets very quiet around here. Hello. Hi. So we're making oh God, awesome. kimchi fried rice. And um, these are aubergines with... That's um, aubergines? Yes. <gasps> Little Asian aubergines. Someone's been to Grand Frère. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the cupboard's full of really exciting Actually, things. Actually, I'm going to start oh. these again now because you're here. It's the first night back and already I'm being treated to delicious meals. Tonight we're having a Korean feast and this is apparently a Korean potato cake with soy and sesame. This is kupuk bawang, probably not pronounced properly, but it's Indonesian made from cassava. Mm. It's so good. Oh my God. You two are geniuses, culinary geniuses. This is unbelievable. I feel like I'm in a restaurant. How is the latest cracker? Oh, was Marvellous. Marvellous. They look like giant book scratches, actually. <laughs> no wonder they taste so good. David, what is this glorious thing in front of me? Mm. It's pear crumble with Chinese fire spice, a bit of star anise, and some apple top. Mm. Add it out a bit. <laughs> so we're sticking with the oriental theme. Yep. I really like the crumble being served in a teacup. <laughs> just how good it is to be home and to wake up to this view but what stunning weather we're having which is lucky because today Michael and I are going to decorate the Thanksgiving table and go and look for foliage but first we have to go into town we have a lot of shopping to do you ready for the charity shop I'm always ready for a charity oh, shop me too let's go find <laughs> glorious things yeah we've got a big shopping list to get and uh and Moses is going to have it all. I'm just interested in this coat, because I saw one in a shop recently, it was about 150 euros. And this one's almost the same, and it's eight euros. Okay. Does it fit? Does it fit? Oh, fingers crossed. It's perfect on the shoulders. Yes. Oh my God, it does. Look, it's perfect. It's the perfect it size. It is your perfect coat. So I have it? Yes. I'm going to have that. Take that. I'm going to take that. Look at the red. I cannot believe how nice it is. It goes with the sinister gloves really well. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Oh, I love it. It's great. That's like good quality, well made as well. Oh my. Thank you. Shall I do it? Are you going to match me in that? Do you reckon it would fit? It's quite chic, actually. Do you know, this stuff's really in fashion at the moment. The old lady look is back in fashion. Oh, because of Gucci? Yeah, exactly. Gucci doing that. The skirt's quite big. I think it might be too big for yeah, well, you can you can alter the skirt. It's, oh, it's not difficult, isn't it? Well, because we've got nothing to do in terms of organising Christmas. Right. We can just sit around. Better. That is fantastic. Very Gucci, very now. Let's get matching out. OK, let's do it. As usual, almost all of the chateau inhabitants are in the charity shop looking for goodies to buy. Donna's trying a hat that's a hundred times too big for her. And David's fascinated by the brass coffee pots. Look at these, Michael. Winter cocktails, what do you think? Oh yeah, definitely. And you can put something hot in that as well, it won't crack. Yeah, let's get them mm. for nice warm winter punches. Okay. How much have you splashed out, Donna? Um, for all of these beautiful earthenware pieces, Seven. Oh, they're beautiful. Seven euros for the whole set. Now we're in Grand Frais, my favourite fruit and vegetable supermarket, to buy a lot of gourds. Let's hit the ground shopping. What we need. What and we cooking. Need 
We need to get really pretty gourds to decorate our Thanksgiving table. Okay, so we're going to have a Thanksgiving meal. Yep. Do you want to tell us more about that? <laughs> well, I feel like we should be thankful. I've got the dream team, the two men working on the correct gourds. How are you choosing your gourds? Uh, visual difference. Okay, uh, right. Yeah. Didn't see very many, and then after sifting through, we found six. So far, that oh, oh, and Michael spotted another one that he's extremely fond of. Oh, we also Grab it. Have... This one's also quite entertaining. Yes. <laughs> this would go with your other such prize, your bowling prize. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, it would. Oh, that's a very good one. Do you think this would stand on its own? How many parsnips do we need? Well, I don't know how many parsnips do we need. So, Big bag full. For some reason, Michael woke up in a parsnip mood today. Did? I've got them. What have you found? I found these little clementines with the leaves still on. Is this to decorate the table? Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, it's going to look superb. Look at that. It's beautiful. I love the way you are hand picking the correct clementines. Well, we only want the ones that look gorgeous, don't we? Of course. Another meter of gourd for the I, table. I love the fact you buy our gourds by the meter. <laughs> Do you think we're overdoing this? No. I feel that we're going to be eating quite a lot of pumpkin-y products These for are some great, time. because you can roast them, make soups. Some people have a turkey problem after Christmas. We're not going to have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly the most autumnal shop I've ever done in my life. You can't really see it from the car, but there's enough gourds there to make an entire team of Cinderella's go to all the balls in France. Trying to find a turkey in November is it's not as easy as you think. And um, I don't think it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't have a turkey, we're going to have to find an alternative. Well, the original Thanksgiving had wildfowl, okay. so we could go Wildfowl, duck, yeah. Goose? We, have you got a gun? We'll just go out and have a look. <laughs> Okay, you're in charge of getting hold of wildfowl. Excellent. Good division of labour. Chickens are a bit wild around here, aren't they? <laughs> Touch my chickens and you'll be on the Thanksgiving table. Stephanie, what have you got planned? I'm going to do a couple of ducks. Yeah. Duck would probably have been shot for that Thanksgiving. Of course it would, yeah. And that's very French. And I think we need to have we need to have the fact that we're in France okay. represented at the table. So a couple okay. of ducks. Okay, ducks are gonna be perfect. Yeah. We Hi. did well. We did well. We've got everything we need. Um, and it's a bit last minute, so uh, I'm, I'm pleased. It's going to be awesome. Yum. We've just got a lot of preparation to do now, Steph. <laughs> we didn't think about that. So much preparation, so much cooking. Let's yeah. go make a beautiful table. Let's go and do it. Come on. Start with the prettiness. Start we'll with the, the pretty afterwards. stuff first. We'll think about the food later. <laughs> we're home with this shopping. The weather's still gorgeous and we're going to rush out and get foliage. You're looking pretty dashing. Well, wow. I thought I'd wrap up warm. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there's no excuse for being scruffy, is there? <laughs> Can you give us a little twirl? Oh, I love that coat. You're so lucky. And we're lucky to live near those charity shops. Oh, yeah. my goodness. It's quite long, actually. I've never had a coat this long. It literally warms you from the calf to the neck. It's gorgeous on you. Honestly, gorgeous. Thank you very much. And actually, the scarf was also from the charity shop. Mm. I was just putting the boots back. And it appears that whilst I've been away, the hedgehog has still been resident at La Land. He's been nibbling away and it's good to know that it's a harvest festival for all. Whilst the hedgehog was nibbling away, Michael and I got on with transforming the entrance hall for Thanksgiving. Many of you will already have seen that transformation in our Sunday vlog, which I'll put a link to here. The results were truly magical. And one of my favorite things was this card that Michael painted so that everyone can write what they're most thankful for. Cheers. Look what we've done. I know, amazing. You actually all look quite naughty. What are you drinking and why don't I have one? Urban. It's just water. Urban 14 because you're um, working. But it's a bit weird because I'm at my computer with my noise cancelling headphones on and the three of you are just sitting directly behind yeah, me, behind staring at the back of my head. looking at you. We're, we're actually behind you, you all the way. <laughs> <laughs> Bit weird. You look very suspicious. Me? I look suspicious. You lot look very <laughs> suspicious. Uh, did I just hear an explosion? N no, you didn't hear anything. Really? Nothing at all. What just happened in the microwave, Michael? Because um, no. I just heard an, ex I heard an explosion. <laughs> no, no, nothing <laughs> happens. Nothing happened, Steph. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my. Why it's... are you exploding chestnuts in the microwave? Um. Well, I just needed to pre-cook them very slightly just to get the skins off, but <laughs> I forgot to prick them. 
<laughs> I'll just clean this up. Okay, well, yeah, when you finish finished exploding the chestnuts, we kind of have Thanksgiving to do. Mm. However much we have to do in the kitchen, it's always perfect to pause and listen to Michael playing Christmas carols. Oh, hello. Hello. I heard the music, it was so nice. <laughs> Let's have some mince pies. So what is this, Stephanie? What are we having? I'm making maple syrup topped American style biscuits, which means they're more like bread rolls or scones to us. Oh, okay. You use baking soda and baking powder. You don't let it rise. It's not yeast. Oh, okay. So it's not like a bread. Yeah. And I haven't made them before. We'll see how they come out. It's supposed to be cut into eight equal pieces, but I thought we'd want to try one as soon as it comes out of the oven. So I've cut it into nine. I see a little sneaky piece there mm -hmm. on the side. Just that push to, push to one side. Oh, it's good to see this maple syrup going on. I think this will be really nice with the pumpkin soup. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Meal. Oh, you know what we haven't made yet? What haven't we made? We haven't cut the little patty pans to put the camembert in to bake <gasps> the camembert. Oh. That's crucial. Okay, we're going to have to do that. Okay. Yeah. And that's our special little one just for us. Mm. <laughs> More maple syrup on that yes. one. <laughs> <laughs> for those just 20 yeah okay that's not long this is it it's go 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 for our thanksgiving meal and Ujel has made the most beautiful pumpkin pie yeah yeah it looks so pretty yay, yay. <laughs> <laughs> please don't eat the leaf we won't eat the leaf don't worry but that looks so pretty meanwhile i'm making pomme de terre boulangère what are you doing i'm making duck for tonight okay and the idea is that we've made boulanger potatoes. Okay. It's just layers of potato and onion. Yeah. I'm about to pour 500 mils of stock over the top. Okay. Then we'll put that on one of the shelves in the oven uh -huh. and we'll put these directly onto the shelf above. So oh, I see. All of the fat will fall into the potatoes. Oh, that sounds amazing. It's actually a James Martin recipe. You've got to love James right. Martin. Yeah. Now I'm pricking the skin. Mm -hmm. Let the fat escape. So what else have we got tonight then? Uh, we're going to have, well, obviously there's the potatoes, but I'm also going to make a sweet potato mash, mm -hmm. and pumpkin soup that Ian made, and pumpkin pie that Eugène made. Wow. Oh, and there's the sweet corn from the garden that we have to cook still. Yep, and we're going to have green beans as well. And you're making gravy. Yeah, I'll make the gravy. Little clementines or satsumas are going inside. I'll put three halves in each. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, plenty of room for those. And now I'm just going to rub um, salt and pepper and five spice. Wow, look at that. Get a little massage there. Mm. We're ready to go to the oven. They look perfect. I put the potatoes in. I put a really big roasting tray at the bottom just in case the potatoes don't yeah. And I'm in the box. So they just go straight on top like that. Yeah. There we go. This feels so naughty somehow. Yeah. Let's hope that it catches the fat. I'll catch most of it. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, Mommy's going to be cross. Uh. Are you two getting on well? Yeah. We just had a nice chat. Yeah. She's told me all about life at the <laughs> She's, enjoy she's it. not happy. Oh no. no, what have we done wrong? Because there's not enough food for her. There's so much food I'm for joking. her. She, she can't get any all. fatter. <laughs> <laughs> she still sad. wants more. She's playing dead ninja hedgehog again. Say hi. Trying to get into the Emmaus bags? Probably best she doesn't. Um. Donna's plates, I think. Oh, they'll be fine. You make yourself at home, love. She does, don't you worry. <laughs> the ducks are done, the potatoes are done, the little maple bread rolly things are done and they're absolutely well, delicious. And what are we working on now? Oh, oh, Michael's making a gravy. We've got cranberry sauce, we've got bread sauce. And we're just waiting for the camembert to bake and Arnaud's working on the oysters. There's a lot of shucking going on in the arrière cuisine. Arnaud, you're doing a magnificent job of the oysters. See, only a Frenchman can do the oysters. How great are they? We've got two patty pans with baked camembert inside. 
Oh, I can't wait to start them with the maple biscuits. They're going to be great. <sighs> right, oh. put these on the table then. Okay, champagne's in place. We have the bread and the soup terrine over there. Pumpkin soup ready to go. Patty pans with baked camembert also ready. Help yourself to a champagne flute. Ah. <laughs> Woo! Okay, Steph. Oh, you look very sparkly. Yeah, I feel like this is my outfit. I love it. It's my evening gloves. <laughs> Chanel. <laughs> Here we have two ducks covered in five spice and a lot of very duck fatty oh, potatoes. My. That looks you amazing. Have to come and tell me what they taste like. Okay, let's go. <laughs> That's a very big slice. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely. You are a perfectionist. Well done. <laughs> In Lithuania, they have a, a tradition where, or a belief that if you uh, get served a piece of cake and it falls over, you can never get married. <gasps> I've already been married. Does that count? Obviously, it's true. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it's never lived. <laughs> And now we have to write all of the things that we're thankful for. And for me, that's everyone who shares this beautiful chateau with me and who's made the whole year glorious. Oh,